place your bowl upside down and then cover it tightly with plastic wrap. Try and get it as smooth as possible on the outside. Grab your fabric scraps. Light materials will work best. Here I'm pouring a good amount of PVA glue onto my paper plate. I'm going to add a few fabric scraps and they need to soak right through with the glue. to do three layers of our fabric mache so layer one I'm going to use my fingers it does get really messy so I apologize if you don't like having glue all over your hands you can try and stick to just the brush but you probably still will get a little bit of glue on you I'm just gonna get right in there and gently place them over the glad wrap you're going to try and put the fabric face down because that is the way that it will be seen when people look inside the bowl. But that's just the case with our first layer. With layers two and three, try and have the fabric facing outward. Overlap your pieces of fabric. And you can see I'm using my fingers and also the brush to smooth out any wrinkles in the fabric and also make sure there's an even distribution of glue. Try to make things as smooth as possible as you go along. When you get down to the bottom edges, don't be afraid to let them be a bit longer than the bowl. We're going to cut them off when they're dry. Layer one is done and it's all neat and tidy. Let's go on to layer two. This time I'm going to try and have the fabric facing outwards to me. It doesn't matter too much because we're going to cover it once more so not all of this will be visible. And it's also a little bit hard to tell when it's soaked in glue whether the fabric is facing one way or the other with the print. So just do your best. If 
have any frayed edges or loose threads coming out from your fabric scraps, smooth them down with the glue and they'll look really awesome as part of the overall effect. Time for our next layer. Mix up another tasty batch of glue fabric. strange looking pudding is ready to dry so we're going to leave it for 48 hours which I know is a long time but it's worth it. Now it looks like a weird hat. So stylish. The glue should have dried clear by now and it should be hard like varnish. Here I'm cutting off the edges of the paper plate. to peel away the cardboard that's still stuck on the bowl. plastic wrap away so we can start to prise your base bowl out of the fabric bowl. Eventually we get it out. Gently peel away the plastic wrap. That looks so cool. So I can leave the edges as they are, they're sort of curling out, or I can take some scissors and trim them a little neater if I want to. What are you going to put in your fabric bowl?